Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Let us discuss solving multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division and any of the other operations of full numbers, including money, using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Here are the steps in solving routine word problems. So the first step is to understand the problem, then second is to plan, third is to solve, and fourth is to check. So we're going to use this first step to solve the given problem. Let us read and analyze the problem. Lay a bot, four t-shirts, and two pairs of pants for 3,000 pesos. If the t-shirts cost 300 pesos each, find the cost of each pair of pants. Applying the first step, we're going to understand the problem by answering what is asked in the problem and what is or what are the given numbers. So we are looking for the cost of each pair of pants. And the given numbers are for t-shirts for 300 pesos each and 3,000 pesos, which is the total amount of four t-shirts and two pairs of pants. Next step is to plan. We're going to plan what is the operation to be used and what is the number sent. So the operation that we're going to use is multiplication, subtraction, and division. And the number sentence will be 3,000 pesos minus the quantity of 300 pesos multiplied by 4. Then, the answer natin doon will be divided by 2 is equal to n. So the third step is to solve. So we are looking for the solution to solve the problem. Let us solve the problem. So we will perform multiplication first. Okay, so 300 times 4. Imumultiply muna natin yung 300 by 4. Kasi apat yung damit or yung t-shirt na binili niya ay yung isang t-shirt ay nagkakahalaga ng 300 pesos. So 300 times 4 is 1,200. After we get the product, we will subtract 1,200 sa 3,000 pesos. Dahil yun yung total amount ng lahat ng nabili ni Leo. So, 3,000 minus 1,200. So, 0, 0. 0 minus 2 cannot be. So, borrow tayo. So, 0 will become 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. Then, 3 minus 1 more is 2. Then, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, we have 1,800. Then yung nakuha nating 1,800 pesos, we will divide that by 2. Bakit 2? Dahil dalawa yung damit or dalawa yung pair of pants na nabili niya. So 1,800 divided by 2. So 1 divided by 2 cannot be. So uh, we take 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Then multiply 9 times 2 is 18. Then subtract. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Then subtract. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. Then 0 times 2 is 0. Then subtract. So 0. So the answer is 900. Oh, our quotient is 900. Last step, I check. So sa pag checking Sulat yun lang ang inyong final answer. So, the final answer is 900 pesos and that is the cost of each pair of pants. Para malaman din natin kung tama ang ating sagot, i-substitute natin yung ating final answer doon sa ating number sentence kanina. So, we have 4 times 300 pesos plus 2 times 900 pesos and that is equivalent to 3,000 pesos. So, multiply 4 by 300, the answer is 1,200 pesos. Plus, 2 times 900 pesos, the answer is 1,800 pesos. 
equals to 3,000 pesos. So, kapag binag-add natin yung 1,200 plus 1,800, dapat equal din siya sa 3,000. So, 3,000 is equal to 3,000. So, the answer is correct. So, let us try to solve this non-routine problem. Ang non-routine problem, hindi tayo gagamit dito ng first step rule. So, nasa atin kung paano natin siya isosolve. So, iisip tayo ng way para masolve yung problem. Okay, so, let's read and analyze this problem. The quotient is 25 and the divisor is 14. The dividend is 353. I am the remainder. So, what number am I? So, i-translate natin siya sa Tagalog. Ang quotient daw is 25. So, yung quotient, ito yung sagot sa division. Ang divisor is 14. Yung divisor, ito yung nasa labas ng division symbol o yung nag-divide doon sa ating dividend. Ang dividend, ito yung number na dinidivide natin. So, the dividend is 353. So, ang nawawala ngayon is the remainder. So, write again the given facts or the given number. So, we have the quotient 25, the divisor is 14, and the dividend is 353. So, let us solve the remainder. Okay. So, let us solve the problem. So, so the solution is dividend minus yung quotient at yung divisor ipagmumultiply natin to get the remainder. So again, yung dividend, ma-minus na natin ang product ng quotient at divisor to get the remainder. So, i-substitute natin yung mga given number dito sa ating uh, pinaka number sentence or uh, formula. So, yung dividend is 353 minus the product of 25 and 14 to get the remainder n. Okay, so the number sentence again is 353 minus the product of 25 and 14 is equal to n. So, let us uh, perform first the multiplication. So, we need to multiply 25 by 14. So, yung knowledge nyo on multiplying 2 digits by 2 digits. So, 5 by 4 is 20. Then, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2, 10. Then, so, naman tayo sa 1, 5 times 1 is 5, and 2 times 1 is 2. Then, add the partial products. So, we have 350. So, yung 350, isasagluck natin siya doon sa ating dividend na 353. So, ang answer is 3. So, 3 is the remainder. Okay, so i-check natin ngayon kung tama ang ating answer. So, we will perform division. So, given the dividend, 353 divided by 14, dapat ang remainder natin is 3. So, 35 divided by 14 is 2. 2 times 14 is 28 and subtract the number. So, we will get 73. So, 35 minus 28 is 7, then bring down 3. 73 divided by 14 is 5, and 5 times 14 is 70. Then subtract, so the remainder is 3. So check. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.